44 years ago today, this was the moment that occurred in Lake Placid, New York, between the United States men's hockey team and the Soviet Union, as called by the great Al Michaels. Up to self, five seconds left in the game. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! February 22nd, 1980. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. Always. Always. Wow. Huh. Greatest sports moment of the 20th century. There's nothing that you could argue is bigger than a bunch of amateur hockey players at the time of our world and our country taking care of the Soviets. And back in that day, I remember the game was played in the uh, late afternoon. And my brother and I, my older brother, Jeff Eisen, um, made sure that my mom and dad would not listen to the radio. <laughs> that we wouldn't check on the traffic and weather together on the 8s. Yeah, it was on tape delay, right? Because it was on tape yes. delay. Yeah, that's wild. They tape delayed it <laughs> and then showed it that night. That's crazy. And the rest of the country found out what had already happened. And I'll just say it, screw it. In this day and age, if you had gone back then and told everybody what people are talking about right now about the Russia and disinformation and supporting democracies fighting against Russia right now and what's happening in our world right now, people would say, really, the United States? I'll leave it at that on this 44th anniversary because then that moment banded the entire country together about the possibility and the greatness of the United States as one. That's what I remember the pride and seeing Jim Craig looking for his dad draped with, flag. you know, the flag draped on him. And Aruzioni and beating the Soviets who kicked Team USA's ass all over Madison Square Garden. I was at that game, Rich, the Madison Square Garden game with my uncle and my brother. It was, it, was it was absolutely a given that the ragtag bunch on skates with USA across the chest was going to go down in flames that night, and they didn't. And then, of course, the gold medal game two days later. In Saturday's were, the anniversary. In which they were that, trailing. Yeah, you're right. To they trailed. And isn't that the, isn't that because Al Michaels again? Everybody should go down our our YouTube um, page as well. We've had multiple appearances of Al on this day on the anniversary. We had we hooked him up with Ken Dryden. Yep. We just showed a video of him hooking up with uh, Aruzioni, right? Yep. Um, and we we love when and Jim Craig. We, we had him zoom with Jim Craig. I do believe during COVID. I believe during the 40th anniversary or or the 41st anniversary. At any rate, go down our YouTube page because we, we love talking about this game and talking about it with Al. Uh, Al told a story of, I, I guess, that Herb Brooks told the players after they beat Russia, uh, pardon me, the Soviets, and um, going out for the gold medal game at you know, you better win this because if you lose this, you'll you'll regret it till you go to your effing graves. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. No, 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 pressure. Pressure. no pressure at all. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, Oof. as you know, Herb Brooks did not mince any words yeah. with his charges. At any rate, happy anniversary to all the survivors, the people who are still uh, alive today, I should say, from, from the team and, and to Al. Mm-hmm who said uh, he's going to take this year off in our studio. Next year's 45. Wow. Be back for that. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.